I don't know about y'all, but I have really been bored of NBA 2K22. With NBA 2K23 being less than a month and a half away, I think it's time I show you guys my final build that I'm going to be making in NBA 2K22. I like to call this build the two-way playmaking sharp build. It has a 90 perimeter defense, and to top it all off, the build also gets a 98 steal. This build can get really good drill moves because it has an 80 ball handle rating, and we can obviously shoot on the build because it has an 80 plus three-point rating. And lastly, we can also finish at the rim on this build very well because we get all the op dunk animations with a 76 driving dunk and to top it all off this build can get pretty much any takeover you want but really quickly man if you guys are new to the channel make sure i go ahead and hit that subscribe button we are so close to 3,000 subscribers and drop a like on this video as well let's see if we can get to 50 likes on this video and with that being said man let's get right into the build y'all all right y'all now it's time to get into how to make the build so the position you guys want to go is shooting guard i always say this in all my videos always go shooting guard for the position you get rim protector you get more attributes you get better badges so i'd recommend you guys go shooting guard for the position you can go point guard if you want but like i said i recommend shooting guard and this does not matter and jersey number does not matter now for the pie chart you guys want to pick you guys want to scroll all the way down till you guys see this pie chart right here the half red the half green pie chart as you guys see right here this build will get hall of fame defensive badges and hall of fame shooting badges and y'all know man that is just overpowered hall of fame defensive badges with the high defensive stats that we have is just overpowered so make sure you guys choose this pie chart right here and now for your physical profile you guys can choose one or two i always say this in all my videos i either go pure speed or speed vert what i did on my build is i chose the pure speed pie chart because you're not going to be really needing vertical on this build since you will be isoing so like i said i went pure speed on mine but if you guys want to take a couple hits on your speed to get a little bit of vertical i would definitely recommend you guys choose speed vert but in my opinion like i said i went speed on my pie chart because because you're going to be isoing a lot you're going to be the main ball handler so you want as much speed as possible that you can get and this build does get a 95 plus speed if you guys choose the pure speed pie chart and i really wanted that because like i said you're gonna be isolating you're gonna be the main ball handler on this build so you guys want as much speed possible so you guys can get better blow by animations and just be faster overall on defense on offense on everything so make sure you guys choose the pure speed pie chart and now for the attributes if you guys want to maximize the build out properly i recommend you guys just copy what i do for my build but if you guys want to change it up obviously you can it's your version of the build but i recommend you guys copy me right here so for the finishing what you guys want to do is max out your close shot to an 84 you want to max out your driving layup to a 77 max out your driving dunk to a 73 and put your standing dunk up one to a 27 so you guys can secure two finishing badges and i know what you guys are thinking a 73 driving dunk and two finishing badges i won't be able to finish at the rim trust me out y'all will get all the overpowered dunk animations and you also will get silver limitless takeoff you guys can pick slashing takeover if you want contact dunks on this build but in my opinion it's really not worth it you guys still get the overpowered quick drop dunk all the overpowered clay thompson and dunks you guys still get all the overpowered dunks all you need is two finishing badges and a 70 plus driving dunk and you guys will be fine and now for the shooting this is my favorite part of the build we get hall of fame shooting badges and we get a really high three-pointer when you hit 99 overall on this build you have an 82 three-pointer so that is really good that is more than enough y'all know with hall of fame shooting badges an 82 three-pointer is basically like a 93 pointer in this game so what you guys want to do for your shooting is you want to max out your mid-range to an 83 max out your three-pointer to an 80 max out your free throw to an 88 and put your post fade all the way to a 40 48 and this will secure you 17 shooting badges like i said 17 shooting badges which are hall of fame is more than enough you guys will get an 82 three-pointer at 99 overall on this build and now for your playmaking you guys want to copy me exactly for my playmaking this is going to get a little specific so you guys want to max out your ball handle rating to a 75 max out your pass accuracy to a 78 and you guys want to max out your post control but as you guys can see right here we get 13 playmaking badges but if we lower your post control all the way down to a 50 we still have 13 playmaking badges so we finesse a little bit of upgrades and we keep a lot of upgrades so that we can use it on our defense so make sure you guys put your post control down to 50 as you guys can see right here when i lower it down to 49 we lose a playmaking badge and we do not want that we want to keep 13 playmaking badges so put your post control up to a 50 and a quick disclaimer about this build if you guys do have extra badges from hitting 40 in the past seasons i recommend putting it on playmaking so that you guys can get at least 15 playmaking badges 13 playmaking badges is more than enough if you guys are getting a gold but if you guys want more playmaking badges i would recommend putting your past badges that you earned on your playmaking so that you guys can get up to at least 15 16 playmaking badges but it's obviously your choice it's your build but i recommend putting on playmaking and now for your defense on this build this build has amazing defense the defense on this build is actually crazy y'all so for your defense you guys want to max out your perimeter defense to an 85 you want to max out your lateral quickness to an 85 max out your steel to a 91 put your block only up to a 54 this build still will get blocked even with a 54 block because you get a lot of chase downs on this build and you guys will have hall of fame rim protector hall of fame chase down artist hall of fame intimidator you guys will have a 
lot of badges to make up for the low block rating so don't worry a 54 block is more than enough and lastly you guys want to put your last 31 upgrades on your defensive rebound which will give us 19 defensive rebounding badges all right so now our badge count is two finishing badges 17 shooting badges on which are on hall of fame so we'll be fine y'all know how easy it is to shoot in this game 13 playmaking badges and 19 defensive badges which is a lot bro it is just crazy how good this build is on defense so this is the badge count for our build and now the body shape you guys want to go does not matter i usually go compact and now for the height you guys want to pay attention right here as you guys can see right here i'm in the imperial system if you guys are in the metric don't worry just make sure you guys go 1.93 meters if you guys are in the metric system but if you guys are in the imperial system i recommend you guys going six foot four so that we can get that 80 ball handle rating and 99 overall because as you guys may know when you hit 99 overall you guys have to add plus four to all your stats so we will have 80 ball handling at 99 overall and that will help us get all the good dribble moves so make sure you guys go six four as you guys see when we go six five we won't be able to get that 76 ball handle rating and we need that for the plus four so make sure you guys go six foot four and now for the weight you guys just want to drop it all the way down like i said you want the most speed possible you want the most speed possible because you guys will be isolating handling the ball so you want the most speed possible as you guys can see right here you guys have a 90 speed and an 89 acceleration but what you guys want to do is you want to add plus eight to that because if you guys get gym rat if you guys grind out gym rat and get to 99 overall you guys will have plus eight to your speed and acceleration so you guys want to make sure you guys add plus eight to that so at 99 overall we'll have a 90 98 speed and a 97 acceleration and now for your wingspan you guys want to pay attention right here you guys want to make sure your ball handle stays at a 76 as you guys can see right here when we go to a 85 point on wingspan which is the max wingspan our ball handle drops by one and we need to keep a 76 ball handle rating so when we hit 99 overall we'll have that 80 ball handle rating so what you guys want to do is the max wingspan you guys can go on this build is 83.2 and this will keep our 76 ball handle rating and we'll still get a plus one and plus two on all our stats so as you guys can see right here we'll have a 74 drive a 78 three-pointer 76 ball handle but at 99 remember add plus four to all these stats and you have 86 perimeter defense 86 lateral quickness 94 steel so this will be our stats at 85 overall but remember like i said add plus four to all these stats you guys will have a demigod build by the end of that so this is what you guys can do for the wingspan if you guys want to go a little on the higher side of the wingspan you guys can go 83.2 and the takeovers you guys will get a lockdown shot creating slashing and playmaking but if you guys do want sharp takeover the minimum wingspan you guys can go is 81 1.4 and as you guys see you guys will unlock sharp takeover but in my opinion it's not worth it i'd rather have a, the longest wingspan possible just for the defensive side you guys will have a plus one on your defense so i recommend going 83.2 for the wingspan and as you guys can see right here at 99 overall we'll have a 78 driving dunk a 82 three-pointer at 80 ball handle so we'll get all them dribble moves a 90 perimeter defense a 90 lateral quickness a 98 steal and now for your takeover like i said if you guys wanted to go sharp takeover go lower on the wingspan but in my opinion i just went locked down takeover on my build this is simply because i like that little extra boost on defense because y'all know the defense is really bad in this game you slide a lot there's no pain defense so you want that extra boost of defense so i went lockdown takeover on my build like i said if y'all want to get contact dunks on this build you guys can go slash and takeover but in my opinion it's not really worth it you really want to go lockdown takeover for this build because you just want that extra boost of defense and as you guys can see right here we have made a two-way pass first guard i know the build name doesn't say two-way playmaking sharp but it's basically a two-way playmaking sharp you literally have great defense you literally can shoot the ball you have an 82 three-pointer with hall of fame shooting badges you guys have hall of fame defensive badges with a 90 perimeter defense and a 98 steal so it's basically a two-way play making sharp and now really quickly i want to go over the badges you guys should be running on this build now for your finishing as you guys see right here we get two finishing badges i told y'all in the beginning of the video just go ahead and put that on limitless takeoff silver you guys will get all the op dunks you guys will not get blocked with limitless takeoff on silver so make sure you guys have limitless takeoff on silver and now for your 17 shooting badges you guys want to put sniper on hall of fame stop and pop on hall of fame green machine on bronze or silver i run it on bronze chef on hall of fame and now for your last four you guys can do whatever you guys want what i did is i just put it on hot zone hunter on hall of fame so i recommend running this badge setup right here for shooting and now for your 13 gold playmaking upgrades i recommend you run handles for days on gold quick first step on gold unplugable on either bronze or silver i'd run it on silver in my opinion you guys want to run quick chain on gold and your last two upgrades can go either on bullet passer or hyperdrive whatever you guys want if you guys are playing the one score i put it on hyperdrive if you guys are playing the two score i'd put it on bullet passer whatever you guys really want and now for your 19 defensive badges my favorite part of this build you guys want to run rim protector on hall of fame intimidator on hall of fame interceptor hall of fame chase down artist on silver hustler on silver and then clamps on gold or hall of fame i run mine on gold i really don't see a difference between gold and hall of fame so i run mine on gold but if you guys want to put this on hall of fame by all means go do that so i definitely run this setup right here for defense all right man if y'all did enjoy this video if y'all do like the build make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button let's aim for 50 likes.
like on this video and hit that subscribe button we're so close to 3,000 subscribers so make sure i go ahead and hit that subscribe button and with that being said man it's been your boy three ball i'm out